guys that laser you. This is like my eighth take because uh, if I don't think a video is good enough to upload, I just won't even upload it. I don't even think twice. I just say fuck it. But there are some times where I just say fuck it and I just put it up anyway. This is not one of those times. Um, but this video is regarding TNA's new name change or format change. And um, honestly, it it it's there's no point. There's no fucking point. They're just doing this to get McFoley back. Like, hey, McFoley's back. Let's let let's let him do this and then let's let him be the network executive. Okay. But um, you know, they changed the name from TNA Wrestling to Impact Wrestling, and TNA stood for a total nonstop action wrestling. Now it's Impact Wrestling. Now, my question is, uh, when they have their little uh, ads for, you know, every Thursday night, is it going to be called Catch Impact Impact every 9 o'clock Eastern Time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Catch Kurt Angle and, and uh, Jeff Jarrett face for the 30th thousandth time. Is that what it is? Or is it going to be like Impact Squared or is it just Impact? I don't know. Like, I have no idea if it's if Impact Wrestling will place TNA. I don't know. I really don't. But we'll see later on. But from the 40 minutes that I watched of the, the, the program that just aired, it's really the same thing. Honestly, I feel like it's the same thing. You have the same backstage banter that goes on, which takes up 75% of the entire show, and then you have like 25% wrestling. And for a company with a motto that used to be We Are Wrestling to Wrestling Matters, there's not a whole lot of wrestling going on, and that's what scares me. Now, promos, granted, are a big part of a wrestling, you know, show or a, a wrestling promotion, I guess, because they help build the feud. But when you have 75% of it on a show, that's a little, you know, overkill, if you will. And honestly, 35%, even 25% would be sufficient enough to carry a storyline. Like, oh my god, dude. And, and you know, their backstage banter, is, is, or their backstage promos, I just call it banter. I just don't give a fuck. But, man, it's hot as hell. But the, the, the promos are pretty lackluster, too. And you have, uh, the cameramen, I swear to God, they have the most creativity out of the entire promotion. They, you know how they have those cool ass shots? Like, there's a crack in the door, and the cameraman's just right there, and you see the door, and you like, and you only get like a, a portion of what's going on. You see one person's head and another person's head. It, it's, it's cool. It's clever. I won't lie to you. But if you keep doing it over and over again, it starts to get tiring. Like, whatever happened to just planting a camera, planting a camera guy, in front of two motherfuckers and just saying, go. Like, does it have to be this in-depth? Like, I don't understand. Like, what is the what is the camera, you know, what what is all this, this cleverness of the camera shots have to do? Like, it's cool, like I said, but it, it's unnecessary. And uh, it's just, it's taking away from the wrestling matters, as they claim to be. Um, and then we get into the feud and shit. We have fucking Sting was still the fucking heavyweight champion. Matter of fact, keep that man, I'm telling you right now, TNA, keep that man away from the ring. Keep him away because he may shatter. He's fucking fragile. Leave him, leave him be. Get him out of there. Why is he champion in the first place? We'll never know. Somebody must have smoked crack and just said, champion. And, and that's it. And that's how it goes. That's TNA booking for you. Champion. And then you have fucking Rob Van Dam still up there for the championship. It's, it's between three guys. Sting. It used to be Jeff Hardy. That's four. Now it's three. Rob Van Dam, Sting, Anderson. I love Anderson. He's, one of, he's my favorite wrestler. He's, he is my favorite wrestler now. Period. Ain't nothing to say about that. However, I do not feel that he should be in the main event. Please let other people go into the main event spot. Where's the Pope? Whatever happened to the Pope? Did we ever have a Pope title reign? Did we almost ever have a Pope title reign? I don't fucking know, nor do I remember. Can we have that, please? 
somebody must be fucking, somebody's got to smoke the right crack and just say, champion, the Pope, please. Because that will make sense and that will make a lot of people happy. Pope deserves it, I'm telling you. If there's any man that busts his ass and doesn't and gets nothing for it, it's the Pope. Alright? And um, Rob Van Dam, whatever, fuck Rob Van Dam. He's cool, he's a good wrestler, but fuck him. That's all I gotta say right now. Fuck him. Um, Sting, we already know about that. We have Jarrett and Kurt Angle still facing each other for how long now? Like, a few of the, all right, you can have a feud go on for over a year. It can you can have feuds that go on for well over a goddamn year. But if the feud is boring as fuck, why is it still going on? I honestly believe nobody gives a flying fuck anymore. It's just Kurt Angle is upset that his wife is with Jeff Jarrett. Get the fuck over it. What are you still fighting him for? And and it came to the point where you have to bring China in. This big, monstrous bitch has to come into play to fix this problem. And legitimately, I don't give a fuck about China. I don't think she is the best female wrestler of all time. I did not give her any credit back then, back in 1999 to 2001, and I don't give her credit now. I don't think that she is a good wrestler. I honestly don't. She just stands there after doing a, 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 a very, I guess you could say, brawlic move. And fucking, you know, just stands there fucking awkward. Arms to the side, stiff as shit, just like somebody fucking throws her. Like Sub-Zero came out of nowhere and said, freeze, freeze, bitch. And, you know, that's it. And I just don't get, like, why people, like, she does, like, a choke slam. Everyone goes crazy, and she just stands like, like a fucking statue. Oh, my God. And also, that battle royal is fucking bullshit. Honestly, I honestly fucking hate when people are able to leave the ring or when they get thrown out of the ring through the second row and they're still in the match. What kind of bullshit is that? If that's, if that's the case, I would just fucking slide under the ring, hide under the ring, and just say, fuck you from underneath until I hear nothing going on up there, until one motherfucker's left, jump out, climb back in, throw that bitch out. And what's this shit? China comes in and fucking eliminates Jeff Jarrett? Are you fucking kidding me? Where the fuck in the rule book does it say that it's alright for somebody to come in that's not part of the fucking battle royal to come in and eliminate somebody? When the fuck in the rule book did it say that you can do that? And second of all, Karen Angle did not... Oh, did she have anything to do with it? I can't remember. But Jeff Jarrett eliminated Kurt Angle in a legitimate manner. Karen Angle did not enter the ring whatsoever. So what China did was kind of fucked up, in a way, if you think about it. She just came in like the big bitch she is and fucking gargoyled his ass out. And then Karen's like, no, but why? And, you know, I don't know what happened from there. And then fucking Bubba and, uh, or Bully Ray. And, and Anderson came back. You know, hey, we're outside catching our breath while everyone else is fucking dying in there. I, what I say is, a battle royal should just fucking confine you to the ring. If you get out in any fucking manner, you're done. You're finished. What's this over-the-top rope bullshit, man? Why? What is the point? Who made this shit? I bet you it was those crack-smoking writers, man. Over the top rope, you can leave, bro. Fuck you, man. And then, <laughs> then you have the fucking WWE. Don't get me started on WWE. What else is wrong in TNA? Oh, yeah. I ain't pushing the right people, man. Look, like I said about Anderson, Sting, and all that, I, I honestly believe they don't really give a fuck about the company as, as much as AJ or Samoa Joe. Granted, AJ and Samoa Joe have had, you know, their opportunities, they've had the title, they have been champions I, many times. Not not as many as Sting, nor, um, you know, Anderson, not Anderson, he's only been once, uh, Jarrett or Angle. But, but, AJ and Simone Joe have been with the company for a while, and I believe that since they are still with the company after all this time, they have to have some form of faith in it. 
you know how long it's been? It's been fucking 11 years since AJ's been in that cell. Oh, not 11 years. God damn, not 11 years. Seven to eight years that AJ's been in the company. Same with Samoa Joe. He's been in it for a fucking long time. So honestly, they have some form of faith in this company. So why not give them the belt? They can perform. They've showed it time after time. And like I said with the Pope, give him the belt. What did, what did the Pope ever do, man? What did he ever do to not deserve it? Did he snub somebody backstage? Did he did he fuck the wrong girl? Did he did he did he touch Dixie Carter in an inappropriate manner? I don't know. Maybe it's because he's pimping and they don't want pimping people as champions. It's not good for the kids. But don't get it. I'd rather have a pimping champion than a fucking uh, a champion that's made of glass that can shatter in five seconds. All that being said, I've only watched the last 40 minutes of him. So, as for the other minutes or the other uh, portions of Impact, I don't know what the fuck happened. If anyone can inform me and tell me that I'm bullshitting, then go ahead. I need to know. Otherwise, Enjoy your day, people, and uh, don't watch don't watch uh, Impact Wrestling until they get their shit straight. <sighs> what the fuck is this world? Peace out, guys. Judgment Day coming in nine days. Yep, Judgment Day. Ain't the WWE pay per view? They scrapped that. Fuck, dude, this world is fucking shitty. Alright, peace out, guys.